In this second part of the video series, I will demo how to set up the AIML feature in Cisco DNA Sender. Then I will demo a few of the AIML features in Cisco DNA Sender. To set up AIML in Cisco DNA Sender, first go to the main menu and go into system and then select the settings option. In the settings option, under external servers, you will see the Cisco AI Analytics option. Once you select that, you can enable the AI Network Analytics. Click on Configure. Once we select Configure, you can enable the AI and Network Analytics here. Once you enable that, you can also select the location you want your data to be stored in the cloud. In our case, we will choose the US East North Virginia. It will check and make sure the cloud connection from the DNA sender to the location is working. Once it's verified, you can click on Next. You accept the Cisco Cloud Agreement. And once you're done, you can click on Enable. This will enable the connection from the Cisco DNA Center to the cloud as you see here. Now the DNA Center will start sending data to the cloud so that the AI ML features can start working. Cisco DNA Center sends the network data collected to the cloud to create a large data lake on which machine learning algorithms can run and find patterns and insights that cannot be done otherwise. AIML creates baselines for key KPIs, indicating what is normal for those KPIs for different times of the day or whether it's a weekday or a weekend. The AIML raises issues in Cisco DNA Sender only when the KPI breaks the baseline set for it, as opposed to fixed thresholds, which can create a lot of noise and may not be real issues. This saves network engineers valuable time as they can focus on real problems in the network. In Cisco DNA Sender, we have the issues dashboard, which you can get to using the assurance menu. So in the issues dashboard, you can see an AI driven tab, which is where you can see the issues raised by the AI ML. So here we can see excessive failures to connect. And let's drill down into some of the issues that we see. So there are a lot of these issues here uh, on the access points on different access points. Here we can see one of the access points has 196 clients that failed onboarding. So let's go ahead and select that and it has a 21% increase in failures in onboarding. So when you select that, you get into the details of the AI issue. So at first on the top, you can see the location of the access point, the number of impacted sites and the number of impacted clients for this issue. Below, you can see the baseline and the baseline is in green. And between these two red lines, you can see that the blue line indicating the real onboarding failures is above the baseline created by the AI ML. And that is where the real issue lies. So in the impact tab, you can see the impacted clients by floor. Uh, so for each floor, you can see how many clients were impacted. You can also see the top APs impacted as well. Here you can see the percentage of failed onboarding, the number of clients on failing on that access point, the name of the access point and the location of the access point. In the root cause analysis tab, again, you see the baseline and the onboarding failures breaking the baseline. And underneath that, you can see the probable network causes. So the AI ML also tries to figure out what KPIs might have caused the problem. Here you can see it is AAA authentication failure and that it's almost 100% for this time period. You can also add other KPIs 
to see if any of them are correlating with the issue that is happening in the failed distribution tab you can see the access points and the number of clients that are failing for the specific issue for that access point the reason for the failures which is authentication here if there were other reasons like DHCP or EAP timeouts for onboarding failures you will see them here as well and the distribution of clients for those failure reasons in summary you can see that the AI issues are very powerful and real issues can be raised compared to fixed thresholds where you might get a lot of noise the AI also provides you more information to troubleshoot the problems quickly and easily Now let's take a look at the AI Network Insights in Cisco DNA Center. Under Assurance, we have the Network Insights menu. Here you can see the insights that the AI ML has uncovered in the past four weeks. These could be deviations in radio throughput for an access point or client count deviations in an access point. This could indicate that the traffic is increasing or decreasing in a certain location. If traffic is increasing, that could mean you might need to add more access points in that location if it is consistent. If traffic is decreasing and if that is consistent, then you may want to reposition that access point elsewhere where it is needed. These are insights that you would otherwise never be aware of. If client count is increasing, that would mean that the access point is nearing capacity and new clients may fail to connect. So you may want to consider adding more access points to that location. Let's take a look at an access point experiencing client count deviations. The insight summary gives the access point name and the maximum client count deviation observed in the past four weeks. Here it is 34 clients. The latest week is at the top in this chart. So let's scroll down to week one and see how many clients were there in this access point. You can see that there were eight clients in this access point in week one and the arrow points to the same access point in week two to make it easy to visualize. You can see that there are 10 clients in week two, 26 clients in week three and 42 clients in week four on this access point. So you can see there is a steady increase in clients on this access point during a four week period. This is the deviation that the AI has unearthed uh, from the data that it has. We can also look at the network heat map to look at the client count for this particular access point highlighted here in the heat map view on for the last one month on a per day basis to see if the client count deviations are consistent, whether it is increasing or decreasing on a day-to-day -day basis to make further decisions. To sum up, with AI-driven issues and insights, a network engineer can see things they otherwise would be blind to. This helps in finding problems faster and resolving them before users raise trouble tickets. This results in increased productivity for the business, resulting in savings of time and money. Thanks for watching.